From Bui Power Authority JHS in the Brongahafa region of Ghana, we have David Kwesi Bailey. Kwesi will use an electronic circuit to measure the level of water in a tank. For this science practical, he needs a buzzer, a switch, a 9 voltage battery, transistors and a 100 ohms for resistors now let's see what this junior scientist can do i'll first bring my board so i will now cut my treat metal i will use my glue to firm it after that i will connect my leds to the resistors i will connect the negative side to the leds I will now connect my transistors to the resistors, the collector side of the transistor. So I will now connect my LEDs, the positive side, to the metal. So now I will fix my buzzer, the positive side, to the street metal. So now I will connect my 9 volt battery connector to the positive side of the metal. I will now connect my resistor to the buzzer the negative side. So I will now use my wire to join the emitter, which will serve as the negative side. I'm connecting the wire to the positive side. So I'm now coming to connect my wires to the B side of the transistor into the water. I'm coming to connect my switch the positive side and the negative side. I will now connect my 9 volt battery to the 9 volt battery connector. I will now use my glue to hold the battery, the switch and the buzzer in place. I will peel my wires to get into the water. I'm going to use this ruler as my marker to determine the level of water in a container. To achieve this, I'm going to lay my wires on this ruler in different intervals to serve as our senses. I will place my container here and put my ruler inside. I will pour my water in. The red means the water has almost finished. The water is in the middle of the container. The water is full in the container. The alarm means the water is about to overflow. This is We Power Authority GHS presenting to you water level indicator. Please vote and vote for us. Kwesi's experiment was interesting, wasn't it? Show your appreciation for his scientific work by voting Kwesi David Bailey. We Power Authority JHS. Ronga Hafo region of Ghana at www.wegoinnovate.org. You can vote as many times as you want. It's free. Detectors such as this are used in hydroelectric power generation to determine the depth of water in dams. For example, Akosombo and Bui dams. This is why some walking sticks are designed for the blind to signal them anytime the stick touches water. Can you try this experiment at home? Either by yourself or with your friends from school. Make a video or take pictures of your experiment. Ask your teacher or your parents to help you post the results of your experiment on social media. Tag We Go Innovate so that you can win some fabulous prizes. Don't forget to add your name and the name of your school to your entry and hashtag GH4STEM. Good luck with your experiment. You can be a junior scientist too. Like, like, like. Comment. Subscribe.